Coming to you live from sunny Orange County, California, where we are about to run out of water, but the women never dry up. This is the Ban Sharia Radio Show. And now, your infamous host, you might remember him from such films as Vampire Truck and Slut Tornado. It's Juxu Alexor. Hello, folks. We have a great show for you this evening. Later on, Batman and Yoda will be joining us. But first, let's talk about what has been going on in the world since our last episode. As many of you know, I was fired from Whole Foods for my anti-Sharia advocacy. In much the same way, Jon Stewart decided to step down because some of the people that he works with at Comedy Central are assholes. The only difference is I had... He had six months to tie things up and get his buddy's promotions, and I had all of my stock options canceled. I was escorted off the premises, forbidden to enter any Whole Foods, lest they call the police on me and have me arrested, and given no severance after 12 years with the company. Other than those things, our experience is exactly the same. Pamela Geller took a page from my book and had a Draw the Prophet Muhammad contest. Two men from Arizona drove all the way to Texas to kill them for it. Waleed Shubat boosted a Photoshop I did of, Ion, of an Ion Hersey Ali quote that now shows up on the first page of a Google search. Ion herself came out with a new book, which effectively calls for the banning of Sharia law. And yet nobody, not Ion, not Fox News, not Jon Stewart, or Larry Wilmore, or Bill Maher, has specifically said the words, ban Sharia. Heaven forfend, they direct any attention our way. But it's seriously just a matter of time, because there is no other solution, and banning Sharia law is the shortest route to the best solution. Also of interest, some Marines in Arizona, with Fuck Islam shirts, plan to picket the mosques the wannabe shooters in Texas came from. Hate speech is protected by the First Amendment. Edgar Casey's predictions of what the future United States will look like is coming true as Texas is being drowned by the Colorado River and veterans are trying to raise money by themselves to go fight ISIS in Iraq. (laughs) Okay. But seriously though, we pray for the safety and well-being of the people in Texas that are undergoing the floods. Without further ado... Here are our honored guests, Master Yoda and Batman. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us here. Er, a pleasure it is. Here to be. What do you gentlemen think of the Obama regime's stance that their policy is still working? It's too bad Obama doesn't have a bullshit detector in his utility belt like I do. Strong in the ways of the dark side of the force is he. Much anger I sense in him. Sith apprentice, I fear he is. Wow. Strong indictment, Master Yoda. Prophetic, my words will be. It reminds me of this movie I saw with Tom Hanks called Gumptionless Feck, where they make it illegal to use the word retard, and as a consequence, a retard becomes the president of the United States. Well, thank you for holding yourself back there, Batman. It's nice to see that uh, that you've embraced this spirit of this political correctness movement. Um, what do you all make of Jon Stewart's stepping down from The Daily Show? Lost his ability to use the funny he has. Inform the council he should. Stewart's not really on my radar. I suppose that you are more concerned about the Batman vs. Superman movie coming out? Ben Affleck can't be Batman. I'm Batman. Mmm! Nipples on his bat suit they should put. Or nipple tassels. He's both Batman and Catwoman. Not because he has to be, but because he chooses to be. (laughs) Alright guys, enough capping on Ben Affleck. I think he got the job 
not only because of his connection with Kevin Smith, but because they were looking for an intellectual Batman who could beat Superman with his wit. What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying I'm dumb? No, I'm saying they mistakenly thought Ben Affleck looks smart. If smart looking he was, you're his charming visage he would possess. Did you just refer to yourself in the third person? Away with the ladies Yoda has. If you don't stop doing that, I'm going to kick your ass. Like to see you try it, Yoda Ward. Oh, I'm sorry. If stop it, you don't. Kick your ass, Batman will. Mmm, funny that is not. <laughs> Away, put your weapon. All right, guys. Everybody just calm down. Yoda, please put your lightsaber away. <laughs> when 900 year, years old you be, sense of humor you will not have. Yeah, mock me, you should not! Okay, folks, that's all we have for you today. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the Ban Sharia radio show. And remember, it's time to rock and roll, America. <laughs> This episode of the Bansharia Radio Show was brought to you by Muslim Porn. Psst. Chris Hardwick is a pizza shirt.